And there was somebody who called in to ask uh, for my thoughts on um, the morality of suicide. Uh, and that's a complicated subject. And if there's time, I might give thoughts, but I might address that in a, in a video outside of there. I, I will say that I fully support um, death with dignity and the notion that people are uh, the autonomous governors of their own life. And that if someone barring some sort of mental aberration decides that the best uh, the, the best thing for them is to end their life, then I'm absolutely supportive of it. And I have a very good friend of mine, um, Ed Brayton, who did exactly that. Um, and I miss him and I uh, still support his decision. And I am thrilled that he is no longer in pain, uh, but I really wish he was here. And I think that that's what gets in a lot of people's heads of what we would want and trying to impose what we would want for somebody else's life over what they want for their life. And when you do that, you're basically saying, I don't value you as much as I value me. And if that's the case, then they're already right to disregard your thoughts and feelings uh, and focus on themselves because they, this is my life. And if I'm ever at a point where where it is a medically sound, reasonable decision for me to terminate my life because continuing to exist is the worst thing for me, then I would like to have that option and I would like to have that option respected. On the flip side, since I guess I'm giving you my thoughts on suicide and morality now instead of doing a separate video, <laughs> on the flip side of this, I'd also like to live in a world where I am to some extent protected from damage that I might do to myself, that if I became suicidal merely for as a permanent solution to temporary things, if I devolved into irrationality, if there was a way to correct the problems and the aberrations that were making me suicidal, uh, I would want a world where my friends and family and perhaps, yes, even the government stepped in to make sure that I was protected from that. And by the way, if we can get the mods and the call screen people to put up the suicide hotline, uh, I actually had to call the national suicide hotline just a couple of weeks ago because of an email I received where someone uh, was threatening their life. And it may have been a fake. It may have been a, a chan a, 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 an attempt to uh, get, like, get personal information out of somebody. But I had to call the suicide, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. And if you or anyone you're, you're, you're around is having thoughts of suicide as a function of mental health issues, uh, depression, where this is not the sort of thing that they would think of where they have sound mind, this isn't like a medical decision, please get them that information. Um, I have no problem at all with people being in charge of their life and deciding when their life should end when they are of sound mind. And I have no problem at all with trying to help someone who is not of sound mind, who is in danger of hurting themselves to keep them around in this world with the rest of us who care about them. So please take the issue seriously and irrespective of where you come down on the morality of it and where you come down on death with dignity, please make sure you get good information out to people to get the help they need from either the National Suicide Prevention Hotline or counseling services like the Psychotherapy Project, et cetera.